Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The White Chocolate Source. I am Harry and in this channel, I'll be posting some of the things that I've been working on, including my hobbies and interests. I want to further learn about IT, so that's why I bought this server. This is the Dell PowerEdge R610. So join me on my very first video as I set up the server and uh, keep it up and running with ESXi 6.7. Our server is equipped with Intel X5670, total of 12 core CPU with a 64 GB DDR3 RAM, 717 watts high output power supply. It also has a RAID controller and also an iDrop6 remote controller and a total of 2TB SAS drive. I have bought this server from Taobao secondhand app called the Fish app or direct translation is the idle fish since I am living in Macau. You just need to download the app and link it to your Taobao account and you can begin browsing and look for anything you like. Here we will just search for Dell R610 and as you can see it will now show all the products that are available. The price of this server is around 1800 Chinese Yuan or around 250 US dollars. Since I cannot be able to purchase directly from the app, I asked help from my friend here in Macau that has the account that can purchase directly from there. Uh, big thanks to Ivan for this. Okay, let's now move on to installing our hypervisor, the VMware ESXi 6.7. To install ESXi, we need to log in first to VMware website. And look for the ESXi 6.7 U3 ISO and uh, select download. We also need to download Rufus to make our ISO file bootable. So here we select the ISO, change partition disk to MBR. So the file system we will just leave it to FAT32 since it will have an error if we change it. Okay, now plug in the USB to the server and we can start the installation now. Now turn on the server and press F11 to boot from USB. It is now entering BIOS Boot Manager. Then go to hard drive and select our USB drive. Select the ESXi installer. Press enter to continue. Okay, press F11 to accept and continue. Prior to this installation, I have already set both these to RAID 0, which means it will combine both 1TB drive to work as one and data will be striped on both these. This will also improve the performance of our disk. Since the capacity and performance is our priority, that's why I didn't use RAID 1. 
Okay, let's move on. Now select the storage. Here we select our keyboard layout and enter our root password. This is the latest version that can be supported on our CPU. So newer version of ESXi, which is version 7 I think, will not be any more supported. Okay, press F11 to start the install. After the installation, you can now remove the USB and reboot the server. So after the server has booted, press F2 to customize the system since we need to change our management IP to static. Input the root password that we have set before. Go to configure management network and select IPv4 configuration. Set it to static IPv4 address and input our IP address. Okay, we can now exit. So now our setup is complete and ESXi is ready to use. So before we continue, I would like to show you the fan sound of this server so you can hear how it sounds like when it's plugged in, during boot up, or when it's running. Now we will access the ESXi GUI, so open the browser and input our management IP. Then type in the username and password, so username is root and our password. So we have installed our hypervisor successfully. We can now play around with it and install our host our VMs, applications, and etc. And that will be on our next following video since this is only the beginning of our journey on this server. The server will stay in this area till the end of my stay in this apartment. So see you on the next video and thank you for watching.